Yes, you can see right. Almost 360,000 combination per second for free by Google Go Lab. Stay tuned, follow all the video, and I'll show you how to do it. Navigate to Google Colab website and open a new note sheet. As you can see, I tried a couple of times to get NVIDIA T4 GPU, but for some reason I got NVIDIA K80. Since uh, NVIDIA T4 is five times faster, close the browser and open with another account that don't use too much, and I managed to get NVIDIA T4. Okay, so after you change the runtime from NAND to GPU, run the command explanation mark and bash and run it, and then you will get bash shell. Now we install a hashcat, just copy this command, it will clone the hashcat project from GitHub and install it. Now we need to convert the cap file that we would like to restore its password. As you can see, if you filter with EA pool, you can see the WPA handshake. Now we need to convert the cap file from cap file to hash file. I, in this case, I use a hashcat website. I upload the cap file and got the hash itself, uh, you can see the hash, let's give it a name that be easy to remember, and now we're going to upload this hash file to Filebin or any website you want to get a public URL, and then we will uh, upload it to Google Colab machine, just run wget and uh, the public URL address that we got from the Filebin website or any website you want to use to upload. Okay, right ls and you can see the file has been uploaded uh, in this case to the Ashcat folder. We keep it simple. Okay, now let's create a um, put false mask because since it's a Russian mobile number, usually the perfect start with 09 and then it's usually nine digits after that. For example, in Israel it starts with uh, 05 and then 8 digits. I think Cuba as well, Thailand and Ireland it start with 08 and then 8 digits. You can do your diligent uh, over the web, see how it's work. Okay, so we created the mask for Hashcat, dash M for the WPA 22000, minus A3 for boot force, then the file location, and then the mask is 09 and then 9 digits. Let's run this command. So it's be about um, 1 billion combination because 10 in power of 9 it's uh, 1 billion combination. So it will take a while. Now if you type S in the small menu downstairs, you can see the status. As, as you can see, it's going to take 46 minutes. You can see the mask that we created and it's about 360,000 combination per second. That's very fast. And every time you type S, you can see the progress and how many combination has been checked already. So let's keep S and let it progress. Okay, due to uh, bad internet, the shell is stuck, but you can see it's still busy. You cannot get the status. I don't want to stop the shell, so just let's wait and see at the end the result. Okay, so after about 23 minutes uh, we got the restore the password after 44 uh, percent of uh, combinations uh, that's the the number and if you will run the same okay the the shell is stuck so we click on the x and then on the square and it will send control c and we have new shell then run it again ls change directory to ashcat and then we can type the same command but which show in the end and then we, we will see the password for the ash. Okay, it's stuck again. Let's stop it and start it again. Okay, change directory to hashcat. Okay. And as usual, if you want to see all the hashes we restore, just run um, the command cat and the pod file hashcat.pod file location is in the same directory 
and you will see uh, all the ashes that has been restored. Very important, change the round down to none and save because Google count this time, even if you close the browser, Google count this time you use and next time it won't allocate you GPU. And if you would like to use a word list, that's the link to download and then just write wget and the link or any other word list you want and then unzip it and you have word list. So thank you for watching and have a nice day.